Hello and welcome to another crystal video. Um, so today we're going to talk about crystal grids, which is a really fun tool to help magnify the power of crystals to help with various aspects of your life. Crystal grids, imagine them as being like little power generators that are pumping positive, specific, focused energy into your environment constantly so that you can manifest quicker whatever you're looking for. So what are crystal grids? Well, crystal grids are varied. There's many ways to do crystal grids, but the base of crystal grids is usually some sort of sacred geometry or sacred pattern um, like this, for example. You can also see here on my little crystal grid book, which I love, is uh, the same pattern. Um, and you can see there's a number of crystals on here, but there's a lot of repetition. So, um, what, what would you use a crystal grid for? Well, you can use a crystal grid for healing and ailment. You can use a crystal grid for prosperity, bringing in wealth, manifesting love. Um, you can create a crystal grid on behalf of someone else um, to, let's say you have a friend in the hospital and you create a crystal grid and put their picture in the middle of it and it helps to uh, pass that energy uh, along remotely to them to help uh, give them whatever extra fight they need to get through um, whatever they're going through. You can also use this in actually to keep your home clear of negative energy um, to help bring more creativity into your life. I mean, literally anything you can think of, you can make crystal grid for it. And crystal grids may look complicated at face value because there's like all these crystals everywhere and what, how do I do it and what if I do it wrong and blah, blah, blah. blah. You don't always need to use a base, by the way. Um, it's more of just like, it's helpful and it also can help enhance the power of the grid by having a structure underneath a sacred geometry, uh, structure, a pattern. But you can see here, they can be very simple or very complex. And usually you're gonna need a variety of stones to start your crystal grid. Um, some of them have a, like varied stones, they're not a lot of repetition, and some are very repetitious. Like, let's say this one right here. So um, you can see in this example where it says dreams, they actually have a lot of what appears to be lapis lazuli, which is great for opening your third eye, which uh, would make sense for dreams. Um, and and um, you have malachite and amber and spirit quartz um, and uh, moldavite, man, that's hardcore, and uh, jade, and I don't know what that one is, prenite, I've never heard of that, celestite as well. And you can see celestite is at the middle of the grid. The, the center of the grid is kind of where the power generator stone goes. And um, in my other videos, you may have seen me kind of like bring these guys out. Um, these can be used as generators. They have a point at the top. They're very, they're very good to, you know, as generators. They kind of focus that energy. They kind of suck up, not suck up, but they take all the energy from the grid and shoot it into your space, basically. But here you can see that um, it's not necessarily a point, but it's a larger stone. And that larger stone has like, uh, has a more surface area it covers, etc. And the little stones help to feed into it. And these patterns beneath it can help feed that energy into the stone. So I recommend um, using your intuition even to create one. Um, I remember when I was a child, I loved these little tumbles. I would like collect them and like I loved digging them up out of the ground and stuff. And I would sit in my room alone and just start like making grids and not knowing but what grids were. I had no idea. I just was playing and I, I made patterns and grids out of these. Uh, I guess intuitively, <laughs> but it's and, and you know it's funny because now I actually think about it too much and then I'm like I wish I could get back to that place where I'm just intuitively creating grids. Um, but thankfully there are a lot of guides out there to help you. And you know, things like this, I printed this uh, off the internet. Um, just like you can Google sacred geometry and print this out for yourself and you know, put your grid together. I had this one in my room for a while. It's a little water stained, but I had this in my room for a while. Um, and I believe it was for manifesting uh, good health. And I will say, um, not only did my health really improve during this time I had it up, but also there was a number of stones on here that could also be used for prosperity and wealth. And a lot of job opportunities came and I actually had a lot of prosperity during that time. And I moved and I, I took this one down. But this one was up for quite a while, many months. 
Um, so we also have this little deck here. I love this deck. It's a crystal grid tarot oracle deck. Um, and you know, here is my the cover of it, just so you can, in case you're interested, um, see. And what I like about it is it's an it's another oracle deck, but it uses all these amazing grids on it. And I'm just like, wow, this is incredible. This, I haven't seen anything like this. So, um, kind of you can kind of see here. These are great, almost diagrammatically. You can see there's either like a point in the middle or a cluster, or um, it's always a larger stone, right? That's the kind of centerpiece, the kind of main power generator. Um, and also the the message on here really does resonate with what's on the card so it kind of can help you learn um, you know what stones are good for what kind of grids so how do you get this whole grid thing going like what do you need to get this whole grid thing going well you're gonna need a lot of the same stone at first um, you're gonna need to start collecting these you know getting a lot of okay whatever you're trying to do. So for this particular one, I remember getting a lot of adventuring, like a lot, and a lot of citrine. Um, I got a lot of citrine, a lot of adventuring, and I had um, a lot of these guys. These are small quartz points. You can get these on bulk on Amazon for pretty cheap. I think I got like, I don't know, a pound of these for like maybe $12 or something, and they're awesome and great, and some of them are even Lemurian, which is kind of cool, which had these striations on them. Anywho, um, so these are great for kind of directing energy in your grid, um, you know, kind of moving the energy, passing it to another stone. So you can see they use that a lot in this one. These are all like little quartz pieces like how I have here. Um, and these kind of help direct the energy flow um, depending on your grid. Um, and you'll see kind of a common theme here. You'll notice there's always some sort of kind of like point going on, some, some sort of directional point action going on here and this again is iterating I'm sorry uh, demonstrating how it can kind of help direct energy so um, this is just a little quick primer on crystal grids but um, where can you put the crystal grids you might ask well you can make miniature crystal grids you can make big crystal grids you could put something like this under your bed I have this next to my desk for example for a while you know you can even maybe put a little those little sticky dots on here um, that you you know they sell these little sticky tacky dots at, at the office supply store and you can maybe even use those so that they don't like fall off um, I, I haven't tried it but I've been wanting to um, so give it a try and let me know how that goes um, you can also make little mini grids you can keep them under your bed you can keep them at your desk at work um, you know you can they don't have to be visible they just have to be made so um, go ahead and give it a try and, and let us know in the comments how it goes for you and if you have any more questions and I'm hoping to do more videos about this in the future. Thanks!